Today I'm going to show you how to play Oh Me as played by Nirvana on their Unplugged in New York album. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. If you want to play along with the album, you need to be tuned half step down, so to E flat. I'm just tuned to standard. The riff goes like this. Lightly palm muting, which is using this fleshy bit of your hand here uh, on the bridge. So you just rest it there. And it sounds like that. A little bit dampened as opposed to ringing out. But just rest it there. We're going to play the fourth fret on the low E string. I'm going to walk up to the fifth. And then you're going to play the fifth note and slide it up to the seventh fret. Like that. So that's a slide. There we go. One technique in the bag. And while you're at the seventh, you can drop your finger down to the seventh fret on the A string, because that's the next note you're going to play. So you're going to go. And then you can play an open E chord. And then the riff again. And then this one. It's a C shape moved up two frets. Which is handy because the next time round you slide it down to a C and then back to an E chord. Okay, and the chorusy bit, we're going to go to a G, to an E, and you repeat that. Yes, G to E. And then do the riff. And then C. Move it up two frets and then to E. So the solo starts with that riff. And then from this seventh fret, we're going to slide up to the ninth. And then we're going to move to the D string and play seven and then play seven again and hammer onto the nine, so. Do the same again on the G string. And then we're gonna pull off from the eighth to the seventh on the B string. Play the ninth on the G. And then walk up on the B string, seven, eight, and then walk down, ten, eight, seven, so. And that's 977 seven on the G. And then we're going to hammer on 7 to 9 on the D. And then the G. So really slowly that goes. back to your verses and the way that the song ends uh, it's again with those same three chords in the order of C D to E so you're going and it does that over and over and if you want to you can go like this because it sounds lovely and there's another guitar that's doing the bar chords of... And... So you could arpeggiate those as well. But keep it simple. C, D, to E. And there you go. 